Hi and welcome to tutorial 81 in this series of tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. What we're going to do in this tutorial is determine which bars fall between two times when the end time is actually less than the start time. And you might ask, well, how could that be? Well, that is in a situation where the start time is today and the end time is tomorrow. So we're going to be building on the tutorial I did in tutorial 73. Uh, I'm also going to make today's program available for free for Gold Pass members. And uh, if you're not a Gold Pass, you can download it for a small fee. Also, if you're a Gold Pass member, you might be interested to know that I've recently responded to several questions that people have posed or rather Gold Pass members have posed in the Q&A section at uh, Gold Pass. So what I've done is I have created a new program tutorial 81 and uh, into that I have copied the tutorial 73 program which is a very simple program that just tries to find out the the high and the low between two times and then draws those on the chart so what we're going to do is modify this so that this program will work both for situations where the start time is less than the end time and also for situations where the start time is actually greater than the end time. So you may also find other applications for this in some of your programs, not uh, something that you would just use for finding highs and lows. So what we're going to do is use some of the existing code and I'm going to add here a little statement saying if start time is less than end time, so this is the situation that we've had previously, then begin. And what I'm going to do is just highlight this section here and just press tab to indent that. So we're going to have an end, then we're going to have an else. So in other words, if start time is less than end time, else would be start time is greater or equal to end time, else begin. What I'm going to do here is just copy this to save some typing and then we'll, we'll modify it. But what we're going to say here is if, and I put this in brackets, if t is less than start time and t is greater than end time, and what we want is that to be false. Like so. Now, if you just think about what's happening there, if you imagine a situation where the start time is today, the end time is tomorrow, and the period between the start time and the end time, you could draw a line. But then if you think about all the rest of the time that you're not interested in, then that is where the time is less than start time or greater than end time. So what we're saying is if that is false, then we're in the part of the uh, the time that we want to be detecting the highs and lows of the bars. What I'm also going to do here, I think it's useful when you're doing this sort of program, is just to give yourself a visual indication of which bars are being included. So I'm going to say value 1 equals text new and what we're going to do is just draw a little asterisk on all the bars that are included in this calculation. So I'm just going to copy that into the other part of the program as well. And verify. Let's see if uh, we've made any typos. And looks like we have. So we'll just check. OK, we missed a comma after the L. So I'm just going to put that in both places. I'm just going to get rid of that space as well. OK, I'm going to press F3 again. Looks like we're good this time, so let's have a look. So you can see at the moment that we've got the time between um, 8 a.m. and 12, and you can see here that the uh, asterisks are being drawn on the 8 o'clock bar, the 8.15, etc., all the way through to the 12 o'clock, and then on the next bar we, we draw these new levels based on the price highs and lows between these times. But let's just test this thing, and let's put in... For example, let's start this at 10 o'clock at night, so 22.00, and say finish it at, say, 8 in the morning. So let's have a look and see where we get those asterisks. 
Okay, so you can see here that we're starting the asterisk at 10 o'clock 22 and they're going all the way through to the 8 o'clock bar and uh, if you were to make sure that these uh, highs and lows are uh, drawing correctly you will you will find that they are the rest of the functionality of the program stays pretty much the same or it stays exactly the same anyway hopefully you will find this a useful technique again the gold pass members can get a free copy of the program underneath this tutorial and uh, anyone else can buy it for a small amount of money thank you